Trial Tuesday once again. We're coming up, of course, on a major holiday weekend. Attorney David Ayler, a man who didn't help found our freedoms, but sure is here to make sure that Saints stay protected. He's here with some tips to stay out of legal trouble this 4th of July holiday. So, Counselor, welcome back to the show. I want to ask you quickly, a DUI and BUI, definitely two things that might get you into trouble this weekend. So what happens if the police stop you when you're out celebrating this 4th of July? Well, first and foremost, you want to be as respectful as possible. Uh, people that sort of uh, get attitudes, get disrespectful with officers is only going to put you in a much worse position because remember, they're out working on their holiday away from their friends, away from their family, just trying to do your job. Indeed. So you're going to come out a lot better off if you're uh, kind and just, you know, follow along with the instructions. Like, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. No, ma'am. Thank you. Exactly. Uh, beyond that, you know, you just really want to try to plan ahead because you're exactly right. There's going to be a lot of police out, uh, both on the water, of course, looking at boats because there'll be so many boats out. And then, of course, locally on the roads, um, because not only are you going to have people that stay in Charleston, particularly with the way the holiday fell this year, you're going to have a lot of people that have taken off, come down into Charleston for sure. vacation, not used to the waters, not used to the roads and mixing alcohol or drugs with that can be a very dangerous combination. Absolutely. It is. Let's talk about some of these cooler chicks. Of course, there was the issue on Folly Beach. Uh, we're hearing from several Sullivan's Island town administrators that they might be doing cooler checks. Are our police, local police, allowed to do those cooler checks? And what would happen if somebody said, hey, can you stop for a second and let me check your cooler? Do they have that just cause? Well, you know, as much as I don't know how if they're going to be doing cooler checks to the degree that they're actually going to be able to go through your personal items, such as your purse, your beach bag, things like that, I think it's going to be more of a situation where they are going to be paying a little bit closer attention to what people are doing and what perhaps people are drinking. And if, in fact, they feel like they have that reasonable suspicion of probable cause, they may try to get inside of that cooler. Now, can they ask you legally? Do they have a search warrant? Do they have the the, the just prudence to go in there and search your personal belongings? Well, you know, technically you are uh, going to be on a public beach so there's going to be certain laws that fall in place with that but it's really going to depend on the specific circumstances but honestly if you're not causing any kind of issues uh, you're not going to really be the ones that the police are going to be paying attention to. Indeed let's talk about uh, the, these random breathalyzer uh, checkpoints that are rumored to be coming up around several out islands Sullivan's Island being one of them and that definitely cops going to be out on the roads doing extra security extra the DUI check so what do you want to know when you have going to uh, to blow that breathalyzer test. Well, first of all, you can look online because legally they're going to post, uh, you know, every single stop. Uh, you know, a lot of times people think that, you know, these things are set up as entrapment or surprise, and that's just not the issue. Actually, in fact, you can find out ahead of time when uh, they're going to be and where they're going to be, uh, particularly, you know, on a holiday weekend. But uh, if you are stopped, um, you know, going beyond the instruction given, you do have to keep in mind that you're able to refuse doing certain things. You don't have to take the field side sobriety test there on the side of the road. You do not have to breathe in the breathalyzer. Now, that's the decision you have to make your, on your own, but ultimately it is something to consider if, in fact, you find yourself in that position. You and I have talked about this issue several times about what happens after you get stopped. You say that the best advice really is to, is to not speak, is to say those, those couple of different phrases, thank you, yes, sir, no, sir, no, ma'am, yes, ma'am, because that's really where they're going to try and build their case is in the, the testimony that you provide when you're in custody. Well, generally speaking, uh, anytime the, the more you talk, the more you act, there's uh, more things that could come against you. You hear that in the Miranda, we have the, you have the right to remain silent. However, anything you say or can do we, could be used against you. So that's a perfect example of that. Um, what, what tends to often be the issue with people is when they get emotional, they get angry, things like that. That's not going to make the position of the police officer any more lenient on you. Indeed. Uh, David Ayler, if you end up in jail on the 4th of July or any other time, they, they talk about that one phone call that you get in jail. You're not allowed to bring your cell phone into jail. They take that from you and confiscate it. So you want to make sure that you have a number in your mind of somebody that you can call. You know, it's funny you mentioned that because often that problem uh, occurs for a lot of people because they don't have their cell phone. We all have cell phones and all the numbers are plugged in and you just don't have anybody's number memorized. So you do want to make sure you have a local number of someone you know and trust, um, you know, if in case you're out in any situation where that may occur. But really what the most important thing to do is just try to plan ahead to not put yourself in those positions. Indeed, the safest thing you can do this 4th of July is to make sure that you plan ahead, don't drink and drive, don't boat and drive and make sure you get home safely and everybody we're with gets home safely as well. Make responsible choices. Yeah, exactly. Indeed. Be Attorney, a lot easier that way. Attorney David Ayler, thank you so much for your time, sir. I really do appreciate that. I'll see you this weekend. Sounds great. More after the break. Make sure you stay with us.